Welcome to the Energy Design Systems Load Calculator program. In this module, we're going to take a look at program navigation. When you log in, based on the credentials and your subscriptions, you will see that you have access to the programs for which you are subscribed. In this case, I happen to be a subscriber to both our load calculation software as well as our home auditor software. Because I am also a program administrator, I also have access to an admin view that none of our users have access to. Most of you, since you're subscribed solely to a load calculator, will have access to resources, account, logout, and uh, calculate new address. Additionally, you'll also see down here in the bottom right hand corner a chat feature in which you can open up and chat with support. You can plug in uh, a question or a comment or just ask for help in this particular screen. At the bottom of the screen, you'll also see that you have uh, access to our website. If you click on that URL there, the, a load report, terms of service, the ability to check the upgrades and see what we've done in all of our upgrade features, as well as fixes, uh, the ability to contact support directly via email, as well as to contact support via phone. So you can get help anytime you need it uh, from the, anywhere within the software. Within the navigation of the software, let's take a look at resources. The resources screen is populated with a few documents that give you the ability to take a look at instructions for the load calculation program, print it out, as well as frequently asked questions, a compliance report, a Florida compliance uh, report, as far as for those contractors in Florida, a assessment of our software done by what is called best test. We were pitted against uh, several other load calculation programs within the industry a few years back, and it uh, documents how our software came out uh, at the top of that test. And then we also have a compliance certification as well. We will continue to add resources to the program and notify you in the updates uh, screen, upgrade screen, excuse me, as we go forward in time. Our goal is ultimately to have some sales resources in here as well as some other uh, helpful industry information about load calculations and other technical subjects. From there, you can also access account. Once you're in account, you have the ability to see all your credentials. You can go ahead and change any of them from this page. Name, company name, address, phone number. The only thing that you can't change is your email address. We understand that many of our users have the application purchased for them by the company and we don't want a user who may no longer be with the company to have the ability to change their login. So from that, for that purpose, if you ever have to change your login, you can ask for support or you can contact support and ask us to do it. You will have to verify some information. And as for the company, as well as your security, we wouldn't want anybody to take away your access to a program as long as you're with the company. You have the ability to change your password anytime you like. You can also upload the company logo, which will show in the banner on the screen up here in the top left, as well as print out on your reports. And then you also have the ability to plug in some terms and conditions. Uh, that will attach to the report at the end when you go, to head, go ahead and either print the document out or go ahead and create a printable PDF. Most of our users have never used the terms and conditions because they have their own agreement or proposal form which outlines any terms, conditions, warranties, guarantees, scope of work. So in this case, we're just obviously using it for a load calculation program. From the, uh, the account screen, you have the ability to go back to the load calculation screen. And you can also log out from the screen, or you can go ahead and calculate a new address. Once you go ahead and plug in an address and you go through the load calculation screen, you may want to start all over. You may want to recalculate that particular address um, or uh, a whole new address and that you can do right from here. You'll also see the ability to enter the house information right here. Uh, if Google does not find it within this screen here, you can go down to these date entry boxes here. If the autocomplete function does not uh, pull up the house for you and type in the address that you have, and odds are we'll be able to pull it up that way. From there, you're clicking find my house, which will basically take you into the data entry screen. Over here, you have the ability to filter loads. If you're looking for a specific load and you want to find a certain address, you can go ahead and type that in. You can scroll down and look at all the loads that you've done. You can open any one of the previous loads that you have or download the report 
and pull that up to the screen, print it out, email it to yourself. From there, you can go ahead and see that it has also saved several of the addresses that you have also done previously. But in this case, let's just start a house from scratch. And as I type in the address in this particular case, to spell it correctly. Say so find my house. And after a few seconds, based on the speed of your connection, it brings you into the software where you can go ahead and complete your date entry, which we will cover in another module. And basically, that is the navigation of the program. We'll see you in the next module.